this week's My Boat Feature. The easiest way to do any project on your boat is generally when it's out of the water or it's a piece you can take off of your boat. But that's not always the case. As any boat owner knows, sometimes these projects either just pop up mid-season or you don't notice them until the boat's already splashed. That's exactly what we're facing this week on my boat. The owner of this boat wants to refinish these wood inlays in the swim platform, but now that it's in the water, the screws are almost impossible to reach unless we're scuba divers, which I am not. So we're going to show you how you can do this project while the boat's in the water. Before you do anything, make sure you dry off the surfaces you'll be working on and sanding down. A strong night of winds meant waves splashed up through these a little. To protect the rest of the platform from the varnish to come and offer just a little protection to the non-skid from the sander, we're gonna use some painter's tape. Because it's extra gusty, I'm gonna put down a double wide outline to protect any rogue drops flying wide. Now we're ready to sand down the areas you wanna refinish. To speed up the process, I recommend using a detail sander and 120 grit sandpaper. Don't forget about the corners and crevices either, you'll want to get all that old stuff off. How much you take off is personal preference. In this case, the owner doesn't just want a fresh coat, he wants it a little bit lighter and brighter, so we have to get some of the color up too. Which can be a bit of a squeeze on a narrow swim platform, but it doesn't take too long. Now that we've got it all sanded down, we'll wipe this all down and we'll get to mixing our product. A damp cloth works great to get almost everything up, and as an added bonus, it gives you a bit of a sneak peek as to what the clear coat will look like when it's all said and done. Now we've wiped it down, but we want to make sure all those cracks and crevices down there are clear of dust and debris. And if you don't have a compressor on your boat, a very easy, effective, and cheap way around that is to use a can of compressed air. You'll need to wipe it down again, but doing it in this order means you've already picked up the bulk of the dust and are just clearing out the final bits. We're going to apply Interlux Perfection Plus. It's great stuff and very straightforward to use. It's a two to one mixture, which is clearly labeled on the cans. Apply it smoothly and evenly, making sure not to put on too thick of a coat. Long, steady brush strokes work best. And just like sanding, don't forget all those slots and crevices you may be dealing with. Once your first Interlux coat is on, walk away and let it dry. All right, so we gave the first coat a whole day and night to sink in and set. The sun is out, my pants are off, well, shorts are on. And so we're gonna put the second coat, now that's a little bit warmer. First thing we wanna do is make sure that that first coat set nice and even and get out any bumps or bubbles that might be there. Get right down and check it out. You can use a very fine sandpaper to remove any little imperfections, then mix your Interlux Perfection Plus again. So it's very straightforward, easy to do. You have the two parts that come together. They're even labeled part A and part B. Once again, mix in a marked bucket to make measuring simple. First pour in the base, and then add half that amount of the curing agent. So once you mix them together in that two to one ratio, let it sit for about 10 minutes. Let all those bubbles get out of there. And when you're doing that, you can clean this up, make sure you're good to go for your second and hopefully final coat. You can use whatever brush you like, but I prefer the foam ones because of the even smooth coat for a product like this. And like the first coat, use long smooth strokes. Once it's dry and you're happy with the color and coat, peel the tape off and you're done this simple DIY the sanding it down, the putting the coats on, and especially the letting it dry is very straightforward. And it is worth all that time crawling around on your hands and knees because look at the finished product, good as new.